morning. How you doing? Wow, another day. So, I um, just sw I've just swapped the bins over in the yard. I've just had to put a 40 yard bin on board um, with a tank of diesel in the bin to take to Cuffley. Um, we had to lift that out with the uh, grub lorry, lift it out, lift it into the bin and put it on the lorry. So I'm on my way to Cuffley with a 40 yard bin and a tank of diesel. Um, once I'm there, I think I've got a couple of bins to move around up there, some rubbish bins, probably get a couple of rubbish bins done, um, if he's got a couple. Uh, and then come back with some scrap metal. He's got a bin full of scrap metal which is due to come back. So yeah, I've been up there for just over a week now, so we'll see what it looks like up there. He's probably cleared out another big area. Oh, the 40 would have. So yeah, we're uh, heading up to Cuffley this morning. Just got to get some D's on the way. And uh, see how we get on. Oh, well, I've just arrived at Goff's Oak and then on the way here I got a phone call asking if I had any spare digger keys because they've left the key at home. So hopefully I've got a key to start the digger because it's in the way of the site. And then they can't do nothing on the site. So hopefully I've got a key for them. So it's parked up there so we can go and have a look. He's got his car apart there. But the digger's in front of the gate. Yep, the digger's in front of the gate. Let's see if we've got a key to move it. You lost the key. <laughs> wow, I've got the key, whether it works or not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, my key works. We had to get an isolated key in it as well, which I had spare and ignition key. So we've got this key and the machine working for him. Let's go in and enter the bins. So I've just collected the second bin, the scrap metal. See how much they've actually cleared away, look. Got a few greenhouses. More scrap metal there, look. Loads of metal in all these greenhouses. So yeah, they're cracking on. So I've just pulled up at the uh, scrap metal recycling for the second time today. Need to get out. Just about to go on the way bridge. There's someone on there in a minute. Just wait for them to go past. Get on the way bridge and tip it up. You can see the machine loading up the lorries as well. Just go off the right bridge, turn around and go over the corner. It won't go no more. <laughs> Probably got stuck on a bar, I bet.
Hello mate. How are you? I'm just uh, offloading the second lock now, mate. It's got stuck in the bin. We're trying to get it all out, isn't it? Um, I'll leave it alone. Cheer, mate. Bye, bye. Right. Say again. Right, go back that way, yeah. It's always something stuck in it. <laughs> Is it? It's on site, they just fucking ram it all in there. <laughs> well, I'll go and swim, yeah? There's some big tanks on site that are fucking coming all up. Is it? Yeah, they got like 30 ton of, they got 30 ton on site and they're just fucking beating it all in there and they don't think about that, do they? Oh we're yeah, fucking come out of the bin. I just need the bin here, wait the bin in. <laughs> fucking bin some fucking dumb shit. Because I dragged it all around the site as well, so he's there for half an hour digging out all the dirt underneath the fucking door, and that's why I can open the door because there's shit all in the Well, that's it, that's uh, two trips of scrap metal out of that job. So the first one was just over 10 tonne, the second one was just over 12 tonne. So there's uh, money in that metal, as they say. It's quite strange that when you clear rubbish, or the green waste, which I was doing before, you pay per ton to dispose of it. And yet, scrap metal, you get paid per ton for scrap metal, so they pay us. So, it's a bit strange, but at least we make money out of um, clearing the site as well, and there's plenty more metal on that job for the next couple of weeks to uh, cash in. So, uh, I'm just heading back to the yard now, and um, give the lorry a bit of a wash off because there's dirt and crap everywhere all underneath so I take the bin off, give it a clean underneath and um, go on. Hi guys, I'm just in the yard just um, doing my vehicle checks so I'm just talking on the side before I talk on me doing my vehicle checks and just thought I'd show you um, our defect, we do defect checklist on an app on our phone um, see so yeah, I just thought to show you show you it so bring the app up first um, all signed in choose what vehicle you're in which is the top line which I'm in this one I've done two already I'll just show you so for example the next one go into it so you check in load charts plates and symbols um, blah 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 blah, physical legal charts, rate capacity indicator plates, blah blah blah. There's a defect, you press defect and you can see what it is, and you need to take a photo of what it is if you want. Just go back, or just tick it, and it goes green. Hydraulic level, hydraulic level is good, so just tick that green. Slew oil level, check the slew oil level, it's efficient. Some of them I don't actually have on here. Mounted bolts, always check there and they're good. Mounted bolts are secure or corrosion. You know what I mean? So they're corroded, for example, you can click corroded and you can take a photo of it and add it to the thing. I don't want to do that. So there's no leaks. Boom section, it's all good. Winch rope, I don't have, but I have a hook on the end. That's good. Let's check that one. Control levers, they're all working fine. Latches, locks, and attachments. So this one's got a safety lock on it when you clamp the bin on, which works fine. Uh, PTA works, which obviously I can't work the crane. Emergency stop device. Doesn't actually have one on here for this hook, but you can't put none, so you've got a ticket, and then you go to save, proceed to next, and then you go to the next one. So that's how you do your. Defect on an app. 
And as soon as I press submit, it automatically goes to the office. And if there's any defects, it'll email them and tell them what it is. Then we can get them rectified. So my first job today, um, I've got nothing on, I took the bin off. My first job today is in Slough, Muddy Boots Day Nursery. I took a bin there about three weeks ago. Um, there's clearing out an old part. You reckon it's only needed for about two days. Three weeks later, I'm going to pick it up. Show you how much you need it, don't you? So I'm going to go and pick that up, get rid of the waste. It's only rubbish. Um, drop the bin back off here, and then go have a look at that one at Arborfield, Finch Hampstead, to see if they cleared the rubbish out. I mean, they've been told it's been done, so I've got to go and have a look and take it away. So I'm just about to uh, pull up on this job, pick out a plasterboard bin where I was last week where it's full of rubbish. Um, apparently it's all been cleaned out. So, um, we'll find out in a second when we get in. If it's not clean, it'll be left. The only thing you can't work out is if there's any rubbish underneath it or until you tip it out. So what's happened before is I've tipped it out um, and then the rubbish is all underneath. And then all they do at the plasterboard factory is basically get the load and shovel Put it all back in, and I'll take it away again. So you, unfortunately you don't know that until you tip it all out, but whatever's on the top surface or what you can see, if there's anything I can see, it's getting left. If not, I'll take it away. So I'm just about to put it on my job and have a look. So I'm just stood on top of the bin, and they've actually added more to it. They told us that they've emptied it. They've actually added more to it. And more plasterboards, it's even higher. Down here we've got all the bricks still, more rubbish, mastic silicon, wood still over there, and uh, yeah, this is staying here. Oh, well, that's another waste of a trip. They've even put more stuff into it this time, and I've been told to leave it, and yet we got told that they've sorted it all out and it's all been cleaned up. Clearly it hasn't. So I get charged again for us to come out for a waste of journey. On to my next job. Just being loaded with 20 mil shingle, 15 ton. So puts a bucket in the air first to weigh it and then puts it on me if it's right. So I'm not gonna hit 32. I'm not, just under, spot on. So this uh, shingle 20 mil stone I've just put on is actually an extra job. Um, so I've got to take this now to Trump's farm at uh, Hollyport near Maidenhead, which is where I was with the digger doing the buns. He's ordered some stones. I've actually just got to go out there and tip this first. Then go back and pick up some soil to go to fleet. But first of all, I'm going to have my lunch. Alright, so I've just uh, pulled up in this trunks farm, just about to deliver the stone. <laughs> two loads to come here but I think I'm only going to get one in today um, because I had that extra job earlier on so I'm only going to get one load in um, so yeah this is one of our own jobs anyway just doing topsoil around the flats I think it's just built some flats 
to just a tidy up, I think. So it's no great drama for not doing two today. I'm sure we can do one tomorrow. Is it? We're empty. 15 tuck in the topsoil. Get the door shut and then uh, back to the yard. So I'm in the yard. I've just been um, sorting out some of these bins because there's bins various sizes all over the place. So I've just been sorting them all out slowly. That's got plasterboard in it still, which hasn't been taken back. That one's got yard rubbish. That one's got some big giant trap mats in, but he wants me to take them out at some point and use this bin for tipping rather than this one. Because this one's got the doors, which I've been using. But this one's actually got a tailgate, which would be a lot better. And then these ones are empty, ready to uh, go out to customers. So yeah, sort out the uh, bins for a bit while I'm running around. And then I've also just been given this. I've got to keep in a lorry. Um, next time I'm doing asbestos, um, he gave me a suit anyway, but now I've got a big box full of suits. So I'm going to keep them in the lorry. It's giving me a new hat. A new hat. Put that away. New ibis. First aid kit. Some gloves. Oh, it's a chalky bar on here. <laughs> Kit Kat Chunky and a big respirator, full face respirator for when I'm doing the asbestos. And I might be handy also for when I'm in that drywall recycling place because the dust is unbelievable. But give me this as well. What else is in here? What else in here? Oh. A bag to store it all. Okay, so I'm going to get it all out and put it all in a bag. Gloves. Ear defenders, interesting. And then we've been given these. Um, boom, boom, boom. A tire repair kit. So if I get a puncture, I can sort of repair it on the side of my on the side of the road as an emergency. And that's the glue for it. So tire repair kit. I've got some bulbs for the lorry, which are handy. Some gloves. A book, driver's handbook. <laughs> drivers, what size is that? XL might fit. Um, but then we've also been given all the lorries have now been given an air gauge, so I can fill up if I've got low tyres or dumpers and stuff, and an airline. <clears throat> so all I've got to do now is actually take that bung out, put that in, and that's just on the socket, so put that in there, take that out, put that in, and then leave the hose in the lorry, so I can, um, if I get a puncture or low air, or even dumpers on site, so I'm going to put all this away now in the lorry, and then we've got to fill up three tonne bags of planings, just waiting for Lee to arrive, I've got the fork out ready. Just waiting for him to arrive to uh, help him put some ton bags. So that's it for today. Loading up ton bags with the forklift and the ground. Anyway, later on I'll get a message, forget that. Gonna have to um, pick up 
pick up a digger and dumper and take it over to the Trump's farm where I dropped off the stone and where I've been building that bun. And he wanted me to level out all the stone. Um, and I thought, oh, great. Get a message back later on. Forget that. Go back to plan A, which was go to Gloucester, pick up these pallets. And then this morning I get a message. Forget all of that. Change the plan altogether. Put a 40 yard bin on and go to Goff's Oak Garden Centre and take two scrap metal bins out of there for the day. So then I had to change obviously the flat rack, put the bin on and I'm just about to get on the M4 to go to Goff's Oak. So yeah, three changes of plan. M1 this morning as well. So I just pulled up at Goff's Oak, dropped the bin off. And uh, as you can see, it's getting on a bit, it's stripping out that one. I made a big driveway in there. It's cleared out some of the sheds over there. Yeah, it's cracking on. It's also making separate piles of green waste, wood. Um, yeah, got a lot of area still to do, but it's slowly getting there. Oh, and rubble. So obviously this is where the greenhouses were. Technically I'm driving on the greenhouses. If you look inside there, they've actually stacked here and inside them as well. Basically all the metal I'm picking up. It's all the pipe work you can see inside with all the cable and the heating. So it's started clearing out on the inside. Yeah, we're getting there. There's still loads to do. Something's gone wrong with my cameras. My left hand door camera or the near side camera has stopped working. Every time I go over a bump, it keeps coming on and going off again. This is going now. So I'm just going to have to ring the cameraman to get another look again. So I just left um, Goff's Oak with the second metal scrap bin. Uh, just heading back to the scrap yard at home and then back to the yard. I just wanted to um, say, uh, I'm just going around the M25 now um, and on every junction, every slip road junction on the M25 at the moment, on the bridges, you can see them, is the police. Now, uh, the police are on every junction, every slip road, every bridge on M25 because of all these protesters, which I think is a bit of a waste of time, money, effort, for nothing. All these protesters, I know they're trying to protest about whatever it is they want to protest, but stopping the M25 costs millions of pounds. And now the police have got to sit there and wait for them to get there. So they're sat on every bridge deck on the junctions on the slip roads. And imagine how many slip roads there are on the 25. 31. 31 junctions on the M25 and don't forget that's both sides so you've got police on the exit slip road clockwise and you've got police on the slip road anti-clockwise and there's at least two or three police officers with a van and a car parked up there both sides that's a lot of police sitting there doing nothing just in case they turn up I just pointed that out. I think it's stupid. All these protesters. But hey, let's crack on. Weigh in some more metal. So I spoke to the cameraman earlier. Um, and he's told me to look at this, which it looks like. So the join plug is in here. That looks all squished. And the cable bone is... Um, been pinched there so it looks like the cable is pinched so he's gonna come out tomorrow and uh, have a look let's look at the other side it's pinched slightly there but it's not as bad as the other one 
So yeah, I think the, the cable's um, been rubbing. So anyway, so that's the problem with the cable and the camera. Yeah. And uh, yeah, finished for the day. I've been moving all the bins around. I've got the flat rack on now, ready for tomorrow. I've got to pick up the 100-ish pallets. So I've done two loads of um, scrap metal today at Goff's Oak. Uh, first one was uh, seven ton. And the second one was just over four ton. Uh, 175 pound per ton, so you can do the math. Um, so yeah, it's a good little earner by scrapping in and weighing in all the metal. There's plenty still to get. I'm going home. Just doing my vehicle checks on the app. And there's one that says here, licenses. I confirm that I have a valid license to drive this vehicle. No, I fell out my cornflake packet this morning. That'll do me. That's that all done. So what am I doing today? Well, today we've got the flat rack on. We've got to go to Gloucester, pick up approximately 100 pallets. I don't think we're gonna get 100 pallets on here, um, but we'll see if we give it a go. Take them to Gravesend in Kent. So, and that's it, that's all we've got for the day. But then Gloucester to Kent is a good few hours, and then back again. And today I've got my, um, Co-pilot assistant Doody Pups with me today. Can't see him in it, he's laid on the bed in his blanket. So yeah, we're gonna go across, pick up a load of pallets. We're just loading up all these forklift uh, pallets at the moment with a forklift. Got a rail one already. So we've got all the pallets on. Quite a few. Right, I'll take all this to Kent. Let's go. So these are the wrong pallets. Julio just turned up with some more. He's got the wrong ones. So that was a waste of a trip. All the way to Kent. 100 pallets ish, and out of that, I had two what were the right type, which it took out. Julio pulled up behind me, he had approximately 60 on board, and he had about eight to ten what was right. Continue on Valley so, Drive for one and a half miles. Absolute waste of a trip for two lorries. A pallet is a fucking pallet. Uh, clearly not, he only wants a special type of pallet. But still, me and Julio have now got to go back to the yard with all these pallets, which we don't need. So I don't know what's happening with these now. But guys, Friday morning, the weekend has landed. Early start this morning. Um, I was in the yard at half past five this morning because um, it wants me to get out and get going this morning. I've got three bins to come out of Goff's Oak um, and being a Friday and being the M25, he wanted me to start a little bit earlier to see if I can beat a bit of traffic and get there. So I've got um, one rubbish bin to get out of there first of all, which ain't got to go far, it's only like an hour on the road. And, well, 30 minutes on the road and 30 minutes back, so an hour to turn around. So one rubbish bin, take that back, and then two scrap metal bins again, which you've got to come all the way back to Reading. Um, back again, pick up the second one. 
Now, some of our bins, I don't even know, some of our bins are painted and some of them aren't. He hasn't actually got time to do it yet, and he ran out of paint. So he said to me, if I can bring back the non-painted one last, because that'll go back to the yard, because he now has paint, and he can get that sorted in the next couple of days. So, hopefully I can bring that one back last, and bring back the other one first. Just got a couple up there, so we'll see. So yeah, I've got one with me, take one up, always take one up with me, because I always bring the last one home, so he's always got a supply of bins up there. So yeah, I'm just about to get on the 25 from the M4. Just getting on the slip road now. Um, last night, the cameraman came out. Um, yesterday, the whole camera system went down. Um, although the day before, um, only one was not working. Um, and it was the dodgy wire inside, but also there was another wire which was also broken. When he moved them a few weeks ago, um, the wire was caught and it had been chafing while, um, while I've been driving, so it cut through the wire. But because of that, when it finally cut through the wire, it shut down the whole system, so I had no cameras, you see. So I'm just leaving Golf Oak for the first run of metal. Um, as you can see, they've made this lovely little road now nice and clean so I don't get punches or nothing uh, but it's actually got a company from Holland um, which are taking apart the greenhouses which are in front of me now you'll see in a second when the digger moves so they're literally handballing and taking the greenhouses apart to ship back to Holland apparently he sold them to go over there you can see uh, the pallets parts they're stacking it all up but they're literally taking it apart bit by bit to ship back to Holland so you sold them up to there so that's good isn't it right let's get rid of this scrap metal Brian's just gonna open the gate for me and uh, yeah you've got a busy day today <laughs> Now started on the end greenhouses which are actually overgrown inside and these are the old wooden greenhouses um, but still pipe running for all and load of wire it's getting all out slowly these old uh, blokes from um, wherever they're from, forget now. Um, yeah, they're cracking on, look, they've took all the roof off. One more roof to do. We've got a fair bit all stacked up there. So that's it for this week. So the two loads of metal are done today. Um, well, the first one was five ton, and the second one I just put in there was 6.6 .6 ton. So that's six loads I put in there this week, various weights, and it's a uh, hundred and seventy-five pound per ton they're paying at the moment. So that's not too bad. So do the maths of what I've um, put in there this week. 
but yeah that's it for this week um i've just put the flat rack on because they're going to do some work on the sheet um this weekend so i've got a flat rack for them to stand on um yeah that's it if you want to subscribe to my channel click here and if you want to see my last video click here and don't forget i'm now doing youtube short videos you'll see them on my list hit the subscribe button and then the little bell icon and it'll let you know when new videos get uploaded